All right, 10 sea creatures that are far scarier than sharks. Can't wait to see it. Subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. No way. In today's video, you will see mighty- I'm becoming less fish. afraid of, of spiders. I used to be very afraid of spiders. I'm not afraid anymore. I want that tarantula to crawl on my face when I'm sleeping. Then I'll put him in a tank because he's not dangerous and we can be friends and he can be my pet tarantula. Or I can release him into my house and cause chaos. Aggressive Goliath tigerfish and deadly moray eels, along with many other creatures far scarier than sharks. But let's start our video with... Humboldt squid. <laughs> the Humboldt squid. They are known to be aggressive against human intruders, especially <laughs> divers. The they are known to be aggressive against human intruders, as it shows multiple people playing with them. They still keep attacking aggressively by spraying water and ink on its capturer. It's the size of Jeremy Wade's leg, and he's acting like this is a fight for Jeremy Wade's life. Jeremy Wade is being attacked right now. Gulper eels. Okay. Deep sea eel, which can swallow a lot of stuff, but not a person. Gulper eels can inflate their mouth. Gulper eels are super cool. Swallow huge it's super not dangerous. Look, oh, oh my, my god. god. Look at that. So wow. Good. It's super cool. That's such a sick fish to exist, but it's not capable of eating a human. Like the scale that you're looking at there, like that gulper eel is like maybe this long. Maybe. Maybe it looks bigger because Butters. of the perspective, but lizard fish what the fish that will hello give you nightmare scarier than sharks lizard fish as after an encounter lizard fish is a voracious carnivore and ambush predator the fish <laughs> is rarely rarely spotted but just look at it go it attacks in milliseconds and devours the prey alive no way Found deep in the waters of australia it's just a normal fish it devours the prey alive ah uh, yes as opposed to other fish who uh Kill their prey and then cook them on a steak. <laughs> Lizardfish had haunting black eyes and a set of razor sharp teeth ready to cut through anything it comes across. Razor sharp teeth. They're literally like thumbtacks. No way, a fish that eats other fish? Atola jellyfish. What? Found in the mysterious and dark waters of the ocean's baffle zone, the Atola jellyfish is nothing less than a devious, dangerous marine creature which has been gifted by mother nature while many other not a fish well they said sea creatures so they, they actually are allowed to say non-fish so we'll just see is it scarier than a shark i don't know animals use light to find mates or prey a tola jellyfish That's, that was not an atola jellyfish light to escape its predator the jellyfish looks as if it's an alien spaceship or a ufo from outer not worlds, even remotely scary but cool as fuck to its fellows out there in space comb jellies like that was cool as shit there was nothing even slightly scary about it it was just cool it's known to eat 10 times more than its own weight in a span of 24 hours this how is this scary to people at all body of comb jellies the disco like ball of rainbow. the sea sea creature far scarier than sharks the disco ball of the sea when the dark and though they aren't harmful to humans as i said they are dreadful for local ecosystems Water bodies where they don't have any natural predators, they rapidly reproduce and thus deplete plankton, eggs, and larvae of small Not a fish, single one of these has been scary now. The local not even in chains. like, like I know normally I'm like, oh, that's not scary or, you know, like I dismiss a lot of things that I don't find scary. This one, there's nothing that's even remotely scary. Ghost fish. What? This creepy looking fish is named after the fact that they have a transparent glowing body and seem to be dead, which could scare the other aquatic animals. What is no this? Kidding. Is this a Ghost fish? fish? is the spooky creature of the oceans. This is not a fish. They scare away predators with absolutely nothing. Yeah, this is not I mean, a fish. Get scared from a plastic bag. Identified as a sea salp, the creature oh, it's a has salp. a large mouth and is transparent enough to see its That makes gut. sense. It's a salp. I was like, there's no shot this is a fish and I've never heard of it. It was just a salp. And other organs. This spooky fish is most smaller than an arm. Murray Guy Trench literally picked it up. In the Pacific Ocean or other warm seas. Anglerfish. Wait, what? What? Sharks the have their reputation. This fish can pay you a visit any time it wants. What? Any place, any depth. Any place, any and depth. Yeah, on spotting it, you. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that anglerfish can be found at any place, any depth? 
because I'm pretty sure they're deep sea fish, but hey, maybe I'm crazy. The sharp teeth of the angler are directed inwards to not let the prey escape. I mean, what a species it is. Just look at this horrifying face. Sea Every spiders. fish. Okay, sea spider. Spiders hate water. And then there are spiders that live underwater. What an ironic world we live in. Well, as they what live in water, crazy fucking can thing that exists. To be different from normal land this I'm I'm not scared of it in that like I would fear I fear it as a creature, but I am scared of sea spiders in that like why does this exist? It's just such a weird and unsettling creature that has for some reason evolved. With more than 1300 species, some that can grow up to 3 feet. It's just such a fucking weird thing coral, to exist. Sponges and worms. What is that? Tooth fish. Okay, one inch deep sea fish. Nice. Look at this fish. They have a lot of common features to angler fish and are found living some 2,000 meters. <laughs> Absolutely down the ocean. terrifying. They don't bite at all. Yeah, I love these ones where they have this main point that's like far scarier, scary, terrifying, horrifying. And then in every one, they're like, yeah, they're tiny and they don't bite and they have never really encountered a human. Siphonophores. <laughs> okay. Siphonophores Long string of, of organisms. Animals on the planet, sometimes measuring up to 50 meters in length. Siphonophores are dope. extremely bizarre animal, the zoids are psychologically integrated to an extent that their individual survival is not possible without each other, thus binding them all in a single symbiotic relationship. Can they even harm you in any way? I don't know. Which requires every polyp to work together. I don't know if they have any, any nematocytes, if they have any stinging cells, or if they just are not even slightly capable of bothering you at all, but they're cool looking. Function like an individual animal. It might be they the do have stinging cells. Okay. Nature. The most popular siphonophore is the Portuguese man o' war, which is found in the. Oh Atlantic. yeah, I forgot Portuguese man o' war is a is a is a siphonophore. Deep sea dragonfish. Yeah, another the, one inch fish. Looks as if it had deep just sea hatchet fish. Another one inch fish that doesn't bite and has never encountered a human. Goliath tiger fish. You know what? Fair enough. I actually would consider Goliath tigerfish scarier than fish. sharks. It's a monster disguised in a fish. And <laughs> no, don't miss this part. They are the known hunter of crocodiles. Sick. They hunt in groups. They are they're excellent super cool. swimmers and can They're super cool and they're generally not aggressive to humans, but they are um, somewhat low intelligence. So when you consider the fact that most of fish attacks on people are pure accident and just confusion, you want a more intelligent fish, not a less intelligent fish. So a less intelligent fish that's huge with big teeth and in fresh water, probably much more scary than a shark will ever be to me. Piranha. Nope. Not even remotely scary. Pyara. Fish. Pyara is just discount Goliath tigerfish. Dude, if Goliath tigerfish dip didn't exist, Pyara would be such a scary fish. But because we have tigerfish and in a similar area, it's like, well, who really cares? Bear a lie, really? Also, this says 10. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's like 20 different fish in this. Or sea creatures. Not that I'm complaining, but goddamn. Monkfish, classic. Just a random yep. bottom dweller that eats things whole. More, I gotta hear their slander on more eels. Eels. Oh, it's so eels. cute. They Sweet have a snake like body. Protruding snout and wide jaws all set to catch and Sweet kill booby. marine animals. Though they resemble more closely to eels, they are actually fish known to grow eight feet long. Though they resemble more to eels, they are actually fish. But eels are fish. Interesting. They are found both in shallow and deep waters, oh, some 200 look meters at them. deep. And while swimming, I love more just eels. keep praying that it doesn't set its razor sharp and powerful, locking jaws on your flesh. Otherwise, you will get a ragged wound, which would be very prone. It looks to like a infection. sock with googly eyes. That's the best description of a moray eel I've ever seen. A sock with googly eyes. They're so cute. The bacteria found inside the eel's mouth. Look at him. Moray eels are so known you got to games hunt on your phone? and will eat any fish or other creature they can catch. They are even known to hunt juvenile sharks whenever they get a chance. And they have few natural predators. Nice. Giant isopod. Oh my god, a big roly poly? No fucking way I'm gonna die. I'm gonna explode and shit myself. Oh my god, not a big crab that's literally never harmed anyone ever. Oh my god, not a fish that lives on the bottom and can eat something whole like the monkfish that you already talked about. Oh my god, so not precisely. the hagfish 
This is such a weird one. Hagfish is scarier? Why? Because slime? Plates hit a throat full of teeth. No way. Its mouth also secretes slime as a defense mechanism, which has been known to clog sharks to death. Wow. And then box jellyfish, and then saltwater crocodile, which are mildly fair, I guess.